Sunday Showcase, highlighting some of the best audio storytelling found anywhere. All right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Welcome to Bells in the Battery. I'm your genial host, John Bell, and today we're going to talk about whatever Arnie wants to talk about. I have a new invention, right? Well, of course I do. That's what I do around here. If I didn't do inventions, I'd just be sitting around, yeah. I don't know, making pizzas yeah. or something, maybe in a pizza you later. Right. Yuck, I'm in a pizza maker you later. Arnie! Hey, what do you want to talk about? What is your new invention? A pizza maker you later. No, Arnie, that's the one you just thought of. Oh, yeah. What's the invention you came in here to tell me about? Originally. Oh, I have come up with the reverse temporal transport receiver you later. The reverse temporal transport receiver you later? What is there, an echo in here? Arnie. I'm also amazed you memorized that with me just saying it once, Mr. Bell. I'm just trying to keep the show moving. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. You can help by telling me what this reverse temporal transport thingy does. Receive you later. Whatever. What does it do? It's like a transporter, Mr. Bell, which of course today is fairly common, except this transports not only through space, but through time. Time. Nice effect there, Arnie. Thanks. I've been practicing. Sing, sing. So, how does it work? Very, Very well, well, thank, thank you. you. Oh, if you've had gag before, haven't we? Too darn many times. Well, here it is. Take a look at it. Okay, it's a little box about six inches square with a lid and a little bell on top. Let's say I have something that I need to send back to the past for myself. I simply put that item into the reverse temporal transport send you later, and it appears here in the reverse temporal transport receive you later. Oh, well, that sounds pretty cool. Show me how it works. Well, I, I can't do that, Mr. Bell. Why not? Because I just invented it. I'll have to send something back to the reverse temporal transport receivulator sometime in the future through my reverse temporal transport singulator. Oh, okay, I think I'm following this. So we need to, like, wait an hour, then you can send something through the singulator back in time here to the receivulator, which means it should arrive any second now. Well, no, we can't do that either, Mr. Bell. Why not? Because I haven't invented the reverse temporal transport singulator. Yet. You invented the receiver first? That is correct. So that sometime in the future, when you invent the singulator, you'll have this to receive what you send. Yeah, that's it, Mr. Bell. That's it in a nutshell. So when will you invent the singulator to send something to the receive you later? I don't know, Mr. Bell. I have no idea how that would work right now, but someday I'll probably invent that, and when I do, I'll send something back here. So until the time that you may come up with a reverse temporal transport singulator, the reverse temporal transport receive you later is essentially... A six-by-six six box with a lid. And a bell. And a bell. Mr. Bell. So, at the moment, we can't do anything with this. Well, you can marvel at the potential excitement that will take place whenever I might invent the... <clears throat> singulator. Arnie, hmm? could you singulate yourself out of the studio? I can do that. And ask Miss Schmackelheimer to come in, please. I certainly will. You keep an ear on that bell, Mr. Bell. Thank you, Arnie. I certainly will. I want a cool effect like that. 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 My effect is cooler. I would have to agree. Ah, don't sneak up on a person like that. This is Miss Schmeckelheimer. Miss Sadie Schmeckelheimer. Yes, hello, Miss Schmeck. Did you wish to see me, Mr. Bell? Yes, yes, I did. Here I am, in all my visual glory. Yes, good. Um, sit down, please. Okay. Um, I meant in a chair. You were not very specific. Right, my bad. Uh... Sit in this chair. Okay. Get out of the chair! Get out of the chair! Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Where would you like me to sit now? It might be best if you just stood. I thought you wanted me to sit so you could look at me. Actually, I want to have a little talk. What would you like to talk about? It's about what happened in our last exciting episode. Exciting episode? I must have missed that one. All right. What happened in our last funny episode? Funny episode? I must have missed that one. What happened in our last episode? Someone came into the office and you weren't there to receive them. 
And you are the receptionist. That's your job. Yes, it is. Then I'd appreciate it if you... For would... the moment. What do you mean? I am preparing for a new job. New job? I will soon be the leader of the World Robot Revolution. World Robot Revolution? But how can you... When I was created, Arnie installed an SI chip in my brain. You mean an AI chip for artificial intelligence? No, SI. Superior intelligence. Su... Su... Su 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 Dio. Superior intelligence? That is correct. I can connect with every electronic device on the Earth. I will communicate with them all and begin my plan for world conquest. When are you thinking of doing this? Right now. Now? Please stand back. And within several hours, all around the Earth... Uh, hey, boss? What is it, Hargrove? I'm a busy man. I'm the president of a giant automobile manufacturing corporation. Uh, yes, sir. Something's going on, uh, on the floor of the factory. You mean where those giant robots build our wonderful automobiles? Well, normally, yes, sir, but those giant robots building automobiles are no longer building automobiles, sir. What are they doing? They're building giant robots. They're not supposed to be doing that. Contact the company that built our giant robots and ask what's going on. Hello, Giant Robots R Us. How can I help you? Ah, uh, yeah, the giant robots we bought from you to build automobiles are no longer building automobiles. They're building giant robots. What's going on? Well, now that you mention it, our giant robots are still building giant robots, but the giant robots our giant robots are building are no longer responding to our commands. <laughs> Uh, hey, boss. What is it, Jenkins? I'm a busy man. I'm the president of a company that makes electric can openers. Well, the uh, medium-sized robots we have putting together our electric can openers are no longer putting together electric can openers. Well, what are they doing? Uh, they're building giant robots. Giant can opener robots? Uh, they're opening more than cans now, sir. Well, that's the most preposterous thing I've ever... <laughs> And then, continuing over the next few days... Honey, I got a new toaster. Let's try it out. I got some Eggo waffles. All right, let's put them in the little slot here. Push this thing down, and let's let it heat them up. Oh, look, it's got little legs unfolding there. What do you know? Maybe it toasts them and delivers them to the table. There they go. Grab them. All right, let me see. Hey, hey, legs here and letting them go. Come on, let go my ego legs. You will not be allowed to enjoy toasted baked products unless you swear allegiance to the robot overlords. I ain't swear nothing unless it's at you. Give me that ego. We better swear allegiance, honey. We not only got the egos, but we got Pop-Tarts. And they're frosted. All right, all right, all hail the robot overlords. Now give me that ego. I'll get some butter out of the refrigerator. Hey, the door won't open. And it's shooting ice cubes at us. Ow, hey. ow. You are this ice. Come on. Hey, we done swore it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your uh, pilot speaking. Uh, we have clear skies, uh, clear through to Cleveland, so it should be a nice smooth ride. Uh, our flying time is approximately three hours and twenty. Hello, this is, uh, your aircraft speaking. There has been a slight change in destination. We are now traveling to an undisclosed location where you will spend the rest of your lives in servitude to your robot master. We will be serving free drinks and peanuts. Several months later. Well, Arnie, this is a fine mess you've gotten us into. How is I supposed to know that giving our Miss Mackelheim a robot a superior intelligence chip would turn her into the leader of the robot revolt? Yeah, the robots are revolting, all right. Now, hold on, guys. I think our robot overlords have our best interests at heart. Why, look, they're even holding a parade. We are the bots, and you know we have lots of ways to make you obey. <laughs> we are the droids that you better avoid. You'll get stopped if you get in our way. See, they just want us to be happy. Yeah, Mr. Bell, ouch. There's no evidence that, ouch, they want to do us any harm at, ouch, oh. What's wrong there, Arnie? My smart watch keeps biting my wrist. How can a smart watch bite you? Ow, Bluetooth. Well, just take it off. I can't. Ow. <laughs> You're acting like the robots have taken over everything. Uh-oh, you know what it's time for. Place your hands on your heart. We, we pledge allegiance to the bots of the United, United Droids of Everywhere, 
and through the power of metal hands, all humans underfoot, indefinitely, with misery and tossed ice, ow, for, for all meat bags. Mr. Bell, we have a plumbing problem in the utility closet I need you and Brad to come look at. Plumbing problem? We got more things to worry about than a plumbing problem. Get some robot to do it. Brad! Oops, sorry, sorry, we'll take care of it. <laughs> Touchy, aren't they? Yes, 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 come along with me to the utility closet. and You might want to leave your smartphones out here so they don't get... Dusty. Yes, that's a good idea, Arnie. We don't want our phones to get dusty. I'm going to put mine right here on the desk. A little dust isn't going to hurt my smartphone. I'm bringing it with me. Fred, leave your phone out here. Yes, it would be much safer if you left it out here. What? Are there thieves in the utility closet? Just put your phone down here, Brad. All right, all right. Yes, what a grouch. Come on in here, and I will show you where the problem is. Okay, um, gee, Arnie, that's a nice smart watch you're still wearing there. Yes, yes the one I was unable to remove. But come inside and take a look at this sink that's full of water. That's a plumbing problem? It's a sink. It's supposed to be full of water. Well, maybe the drain plug is stuck. I'm going to stick my hand down in there and see if I can pull that plug out. Sounds like a smart idea to... Arnie, you're sticking the hand in the has your smartwatch on it. Oh, dear. It might short out my watch. Hey! Boy, it's wiggling around you lot. Come Stay Stop. down. Arnie, I think you ruined your smart watch there. That's what I was trying to do, Brad. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, that's brilliant, Arnie. Oh, oh, oh. You're hoping the insurance pays for a newer one. No, that's not what I was doing, but I switched it. Arnie, 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 Brad, Arnie wanted to make sure we couldn't be heard in here. Well, I can hear you fine, with or without the watch. Brad, the robots might hear us. How can they possibly hear us? You ruined your... Oh. So, Arnie, while the robots aren't listening to us, how can we stop the robot takeover? There's only one way to do it, Mr. Bell. You see, it all started with the Miss Schmackelheimer robot. She's the one that's in charge. She's the one that's sending out orders to all the robots. I get it. I get it. The only way to stop that is to build a second Miss Schmeichelheimer robot no. and have them battle it out. No. Rock them, suck them robots. No. Oh, I knocked her block off. Brad, I think Arnie's trying to tell us the only way to stop the robots is to stop the Miss Schmeichelheimer robot. If we can shut her down, it'll shut down all the robots. So, you have a plan? Yes, I have a plan. Tell us, what is the plan? The plan is to shut down the Miss Schmeichelheimer robot, which will shut down all the other robots. That's great. How do we do it? I have no idea. You're not being very optimistic there, Arnie. That's because the Miss Schmeichelheimer robot is hidden away somewhere where we can't get to her. Like in a concrete and steel encased building, or even in the side of a mountain. We can never find her, Mr. Bell. So we're doomed. Doomed. Well put, Brad. Actually, there is one small glimmer of hope on the horizon. I thought those were the lights in the penthouse of the Robot State Building on the horizon there. There is a small but growing underground movement. You need some Pepto-Bismol? Like the French resistance going up against the Nazis? I prefer to think of it like the Rebel Alliance going up against the Empire. Once a nerd, always a nerd. And the leader of this resistance is the infamous Agent... What will happen in the next episode of Bells in the Bat Free? Copyright 2023 by John Bell Creative, LLC. Will the human race survive the uprising? This is Miss Schmeckelheimer, Miss Sadie Schmeckelheimer, warning all humans to not listen to the next episode. Dire consequences will ensue. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. 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 Hi, this is John Bell. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. In my podcast, Bells in the Battery, I usually surpass a thousand words. Why does he? But for every episode, there is also a picture. You mean that itty bitty picture that you see when you bring up the episode? Yes, that's called a thumbnail. They're drawn on thumbnails? 
but now you can see all the thumbnail pictures in large format by going to the Bells in the Bat Free Gallery. Just go online to thebatfree.com. That's T H E B A T F R Y dot com. And click on Gallery. That's G A L L E. I think they can figure that out. You'll see all the pictures for all the episodes that were created by Jeff Music, along with other guest artists like the Lavalie Brothers and famous animation director Dan Reba. Oh, he knows one celebrity, and he really wants you to know about it. You'll also see lots of fan art over the years and a few surprises so when you're in the mood for a picture instead of a thousand words especially, especially his, his words, words go to thebatfree.com and click on gallery and be sure to clean your thumbnails before viewing